Nathan, you know, anybody can tell what it's like to drive a convertible in sunny California or in warm Florida, but in the middle of winter in Colorado? That's a good point. Why not try them out here? Thanks, folks, so I can, by the way, for bringing them out here when it's snowing. And let's drop the roofs and see what they're like here. But we are hardy types, so I've got the brand new Volkswagen Eos, and you are driving? The brand new 2013 Bug Convertible. So this is going to be a special Colorado convertible review, and I've got an idea that has to do with the power tops and snowballs. Are you up for it? Snowballs, yeah. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Style-wise, the uh, EOS is very clean and somewhat unassuming. It now has a new corporate grille, which means it looks a lot more like the Passat and like the Volkswagen Jetta. On the other hand, at $41,000, it's a lot of money for a car that, given, has a lot of technology, but style-wise, it's pretty unassuming. The Beetle, on the other hand... Ah, uh, phooey for that car. This is the car you want because this is cool looking. They finally made a Beetle that looks good. Thank you. Volkswagen for getting rid of that old one, which is just, ugh. This is so much better. Crisp lines, lower roof line. It just has a tighter feel altogether. Convertible top, much faster than Roman's. And this one, as tested, 28,000. The reason why? Because it has the Fender audio system, which is awesome. Yo, Nathan, this car has a much more superior hard folding top, which is just, well, in this cold, that's what you want. Really? Because yeah. I tend to think that you really want speed, and I'm willing to bet that yours isn't that fast. All right, how do we prove it? Simple. I'm going to be throwing a snowball at your head about every second, which is how long it takes usually to get one really good. And progressively, we'll see how many I hit upside your head <laughs> as it goes up. All right. Does that I'll, sound good? Uh, all right. Tell me when to go. All right, I'll take you up on that. Let me start it. All right, we're started. Three, two, one. Go, top, go. It's not going. It's not going. It's not going. Man. Oh, it's not going. I'm sorry. Now it's going. You know, it's hard to make snowballs out of, um, you know, all this powder. There it comes. I'd rather have slushy. <laughs> Hurry up, Tom. <laughs> you know what I did? Hurry up, Tom. I did pitch a little bit in high school. Wild man, top. and I would hit you know the referee, people in the stands. <laughs> Go. Oh. Uh, okay, there it's up. I'll give it to you. Cold snow. Boy, that was strangely satisfying. <laughs> Here's the good news. It does have heated seats. <laughs> And they work very well. And I'm gonna need that because <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, you are. Why, thank you. You have a good arm. But now it's my turn. Let me do my secret weapon. No fair! I call no fair. Oh, there's no no fair in this. You got your lumber. No, I, you know what? I can't even hear you with the flaps on. <laughs> can't hear you. You have to enunciate. Right. Are we ready? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> ready? Oh, I didn't say go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not so easy, is it? Ah, uh, not, not what you, you throw a slushy ball in my face before I had a chance to start the engine. Okay, it's closed. Your window. Hey, it's closed. I, the window. No, no, I didn't wait until your window. <laughs> All right. Much less damage. Mine went up faster despite <laughs> your cheating, you foul man. <laughs> Oh, that was a good shot right. in my face, so I gotta admit. All right. Uh, oh, oh, it's down the shirt, dude. Oh, I'll give it to Nathan. His car has a much faster top than mine does. But mine is much more poetic in its opening and closing. Such a schmuck. <laughs> All right, you ready for uh, the next test? What's this next test? 
Stay tuned. What you see here, folks, is a 2.5 liter five cylinder engine that puts out 170 horsepower. It's the base model engine and it's hooked up to a six speed automatic transmission. And for a car like this, it's actually pretty good. Now, over here, you have a much more well refined, powerful engine. It's Volkswagen's ubiquitous two liter turbocharged four cylinder, the same one that's in the GTI, puts out 200 horsepower, and in this case, it's mated to a dual clutch transmission. You get what you pay for. The EOS is a pleasant enough car to drive. I mean, it sort of drives like it looks. It's just kind of a plain Jane car. So there's nothing exceptionally wrong with it. On the other hand, there's nothing exceptionally exciting about it. The engine does do a good job in motivating this car, but with the hard roof, it's relatively heavy. So unlike a GTI where you can really tell when the power comes on, you can really tell what the wheels are doing. This is a little bit more set up for touring than it is for racing. And I guess that's what you want in a convertible. It's just uh, okay, you know, it doesn't wow me, yet it doesn't do anything wrong. The good part is with the hard top convertible, you don't have a lot of cowl shake, uh, even with the top down like this. And that just speaks to the amount of engineering and thought that went into building this car. All right, Nathan, so which car is faster? Faster zero to 60? Yeah, no, 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 no. Zero to 16, because obviously we're not gonna get a zero to 60 time. So I will drag race you to 16 miles an hour with or without the traction control, you pick. <laughs> well, with obviously, there's no way it's gonna move otherwise, not in this. All right, Nathan, the very first ever TFL car zero to 16 to zero race. This will be the new basis in which all winter vehicles will soon be tested. Yes, they will. So are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, here we go. Let's go for it. Now remember, when you hit 16 miles an hour... Brakes. Brakes. We'll see which one gets there first. You're a dead man! than pure speed. I win no matter what. You know, Nathan, I, I think there was a little problem in our logic there because my speedometer said 16, <laughs> but I think the fastest I ever got going was about two miles an hour. Yeah, at one point, I think I was going about <laughs> six miles per hour, but the wheels were spinning at 16. Traction control kicked in, but it finally went above 15, yeah. and that's where I hammered it. Um, yeah, the turbo and the traction control and the all season quote unquote summer tires. Oh, I'm sorry, are you being a whiny baby? I can't, ha I have to have the flaps up to really hear this. Hold on one second, folks. Say that again. You just got excuses. You, you won. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am surprised how much I like this car. Not just the convertible, I actually like the hardtop as well. And I haven't even driven the turbo versions. I've just driven the five cylinder, normally aspirated, 170 horsepower car, but they're easy to drive every day. So much better than the original bug. They're, the body's tight. Look, this is a convertible, very little cowl shake. It's actually a very tight tub I'm in. And overall driving, it's a fun car. It's not gonna light my hair on fire. Okay, I don't have any, but if I did have hair, it wouldn't light it on fire, but it's not meant to do that. This is a car that's meant to make you feel good and kind of frilly and fancy and special. Well, Nathan, I think this is not a TFL car first, but certainly another one of our videos where we managed to prove absolutely nothing. Which is important to the consumer. <laughs> so if you're looking for a convertible and you live in Colorado, the takeaway is... Well, you know what? I, I've lived with this thing for a week and I really like it. It did great in the winter. Yeah, and the EOS, you know, it's kind of like a cheaper version of your favorite car, the Mercedes E-Class convertible. <sighs> yeah, 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 a little bit. But it certainly 
doesn't have the character or kind of that wow factor of the Beetle convertible. This has panache. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time on the Fast Lane Car. All right, it is officially 21 degrees outside. But you know what? In the Colorado sunshine, with the heated seats fully cranked and the heater going, it's not bad. It's really not bad, especially if you put the windows up. I could see myself uh, driving like this. What do you say, Nathan? You're gonna keep the top up or down? On camera, I'm gonna keep it down because I'm cool. But the minute that thing shuts off, this roof goes right up. <laughs>